under the ACP MEA um, project by uh, here at SPRIP under the governance and monitoring program. Um, NIUE wanted to be part of and we were really interested in updating our SOE. The last SOE that NIUE um, <coughs> um, produced was in 1992, so as you can see it was a pretty long time ago. And when ACP MEA project came along, it was the perfect uh, opportunity for us to update the SOE and then the same process um, uh, also produce uh, names to address some of the issues that we will uh, eventually found out in our SOE. It did require a wide consultation of uh, a lot of uh, stakeholders. Um, sometimes when we talk about the environment, we, um, uh, we might think it's just only the environment, but actually it's more broader than that. There are things that um, also impact the environment. Um, so we did conduct uh, probably during the development of the SOE and the NIMS free uh, con consultations uh, on the island. Now we had the first consultation, then we had the follow-up consultation. It was only in the third um, consultation that um, the team here at SPREP came over and presented the um, draft document. The process that we went through on uh, um, documenting or producing the SOE is uh, really important, especially in uh, identifying the priorities that we have uh, on the island. Um, prior to the development of the SOE and the NIMPS, I guess the only other policy that we had within our department is the new and national biodiversity strategy and action plan. Um, just on uh, NIMPS behalf, um, especially the Department of uh, Environment, we would like to uh, thank um, the ACP MEA team based here at SPRIF for all the assistance that they, uh, they have provided. 